In KFS, we, we, we pride ourselves in covering every discipline. You know, we have, we have a little bit of everything. And, and you know, the kind of buzzword that, that we kind of use is KFS is fundamentally, it's, it's, it's an expression of socially engaged art. We're taking, we're taking a town that's seeped in rich history and we're trying to add, we're trying to tick a new box, add a new dimension to the whole thing. Like. Yeah, well, art festivals are too formal at the moment, like in different, I've been to a few around the country. If, not many cater to installation artists, not many cater to anyone who's a bit out there. And a lot of it, you'll only get one wall, you might get a window at different festivals. We like to give them a room and say, go wild. Like, I, the one thing is we really don't want to um, impose anything on the artists, so we just give them the space, let them do what they want. Self-editing. Self-editing, yeah. Like, there was a eureka moment, really. Like, you know, so it, it, it originally started as a music festival. And I was just out of college and uh, I was approached on a very kind of casual level saying would you like to have a, a gallery and at that stage the, mu the music level had kind of progressed so I, wa I wasn't willing to come on board and just have a, a little art, uh, you know, one gallery but I'd seen the music like that, like, it's all about creating a balance so I wanted the two to be moving together um, so then we came up with an idea of look there's a lot of vacant buildings it's, it's the current cl climate we're in so we vacant buildings, I knew lots of artists, and in the case of sending out the invite and saying, lads, come to Florida, and there's spaces there. That we, we have no restrictions. We, we, it's all privately funded. We get some funding from Kerry, Kerry, the Kerry, Kerry Arts and Kerry Film, and we get certain support, but our hands are also tied, and we just, uh, we just go for it, like balls to the wall. The level of local support, too. Oh, I mean, local community. Is outstanding. outstanding. It's, it's constantly evolving. Like, I mean, yeah. we've done things this year that we'd never have imagined <laughs> and that we, we couldn't have done last year. Tell me who you are and where you're from. Uh, my name is Kira Huvald, and I'm from Sligo, and I'm studying in LSAD in Limerick. So I'm currently a third year student, going into fourth year now in September. And uh, tell us about your piece here. Uh, so it's a grand piano, um, kind of refurbished with like original materials and uh, scrap materials and I have a video projection and a sound piece, a self-composed music and uh, it's about kind of an um, expression of emotions and uh, feelings I suppose, um, a lot of kind of isolation and um, loneliness are kind of the themes that I've been looking at through my work. And how did you transport it here? Oh yeah, <laughs> I had to. I got a friend of mine. She had a quite large piece as well. So we kind of got together, got a big transport van because the weight is extraordinary. So it's cast iron frame, so it's quite heavy. So how did you hear about KFS or how did you get involved? Uh, we just had our um, third year, uh, um, third year exhibition, and um, it was about four weeks ago. And Neil and Mike. Uh, two of the organisers of KFest came down to look at our show, so um, we just got selected then a few of us to ask to show our piece. Uh, I'm Colin O'Connor and I work and live in Cork. And what kind of work do you do? I build sculptural pieces out of paper and I compress them. It's meant to illustrate um, memories and they're compressing and displaying them in a way that doesn't make you vulnerable to the viewer. So it's basically... Okay. Well, what materials do you use? Uh, it's all fine materials, so it can vary from my own personal sketch pads that I would cut up to using a newspaper and I find the colour. I don't add any colour, it's all just found in the edge of the page. Hey, my name is Barbara, Barbara Glynn, and uh, I came from GMIT in Galway for a K-Fest in Kerry in Kilorglan. And uh, I was asked to bring some work after a project I had done in GMIT. And I'd worked with uh, found materials. I'd used a garden space and I'd worked a lot with um, in-season blackberries and brambles, bushes. And uh, I'd produced a lot of prints and design work from working with the thorns and uh, brought that work along. So I was allocated a space in the outdoors and I was really happy with that. So um, I don't mind mucking in and clearing the space. So when I came here, it was quite overgrown and there was a question over whether it was a bit too rough or not for me to come into it. But when I saw it, I really wanted to work here. So um, I got stuck in after driving from Galway to Kerry 
and I had like three hours to get cleared and get my stuff in and set up. So I never worked as fast in my life. And uh, it was great fun. So this is the space. And um, Can you tell us about your work? Yeah, um, I've worked with ceramics and um, I've worked in the sculpture department. So in sculpture, we can use all sorts of materials. And uh, that means we can work with clay, plaster, uh, digital media, video work, photography. So there's a little bit of um, some of those here. I've got prints with me and uh, there's also found materials. Got a really nice little bird's nest there with eggs inside. And um, I also uh, decided to scale up a thorn by creating a clay model. And um, I made a mold plaster cast. And uh, I have that here in the garden as well. Um, my name is Deirdre Curran, I'm from Dublin and I work in learning and development and so art would be my hobby that I do on the side. How would you describe it? Um, it's probably quite caricature-y, um, so I always do people. I'd never do a painting really without people in it. Um, I like to use quite bright colours and the theme tends to be um, around kind of entertainment and, and often music, so performance. My name is Dar Lynch. I'm from Dublin, but I currently reside in Kong, County Mayo. I've been there for four years now. Uh, painting in the wilds. And, you know. and uh, your paintings here, are like what do you know what's going on? They're figuratives. I have two series here at the moment. Um, I run two series at the same time. One is the humans with animals, because you know, we're all animals and I'm trying to show the symbiotic nature. Um, a lot of people forget about that. And the other series is the Musician series, uh, which is the light and the dark. Um, it works on two levels, as that's how I set up my uh, subjects for the paintings, but also the music. At the end of a terrible day or a terrible week, music can be the light and the dark. So that's how I work it. Hello, I'm Alan Ryan Hall. I live on Valencia Island and this is my work. My name is uh, Kid French. Um, I'm a naturalist painter from uh, Kinsale, Cork. And uh, yeah, this is a collection of my work. And there are three paintings by my friend uh, Hugo Salishan, who's a Scottish painter, also in the same tradition. Um, yeah, and this is my palette. This is all from life. There's no phot photographic aids used at all. Um, We are the Kilargan Knitting Group and we have uh, set up in September 2012 and we have uh, got together and made this teddy for Kayfest for 2014. And and what did you, you make a teddy? Well, Mikey Hearn um, made the, the shape and covered it and we all knitted squares and crocheted squares, sewed them together and this is the effect. And how many of you were involved? or there'd be 20 to 25 people all together.
here was actually closed down. Yeah. I haven't been to the mill yet. You know, we'd have no airs or graces and we know we're small, we're from a small town. But we see ourselves as, you know, maybe being involved in a little bit of a movement, you know. The first artist that we have to credit is Lorraine McDonald. Um, again, the second one, uh, Darlene. Connor. 
And our fourth and final runner up before we announce the winner is um, Kira. Kira Hewitt. Right, so we're just going to get straight to it. Uh, the winner of uh, the first Screaming Pope Prize 2014, the first of many, is Gertz Velodis. <laughs> Thank you.